Welcome to Anu's tuition. In the part 1, we are, I already explained about bird, a flying wonder and the topics, structure of a bird, types of beaks, feet and claws. Now I am going to explain how do birds fly, homes of a birds. I hope you understand these three topics. If you not understand, once again go to the video and watch it. Okay. If you have any doubt, mention in the comment box. Please subscribe to my channel, watch it, share it and like it. Okay. I'm, now I am going to explain how do birds fly and homes of a birds let's start See, next flesh eating birds flesh eating birds these birds have a sharp curved claws called talons sharp curve see these type of these type of claws it is called a talons it is called a talons which help them to catch and hold on their prey for example eagle and hawk once again, I am telling that prey is nothing but a target of the bird. Means, it, for example, it is a bird, insect, fish or anything. Okay. These birds have strong curved claws called talons which help them to catch and hold on their prey. For example, eagle and hawk. Eagle, see here, eagle have same type of uh, talons and uh, hawk also have same type of talons. This shape the talons of a eagle this is called the talons of a eagle next climbing birds these birds have two toys pointing upwards and two toys pointing downwards these type of climbing birds for example woodpecker for example the claws of a woodpecker it have two toys forward and two toys backward which help the which help them to climb up and cling to the bark of trees for example, parrot and woodpecker. See here, the claws of a woodpecker, it have two front, two back. That will help them to climb up on the tree very easily and climbing to bark of, bark of trees. For example, parrot have and woodpecker also. Next, swimming birds. Here, swimming birds is there. Swimming birds is nothing but a duck. duck. These birds have webbed feet. See, this type of uh, feet is called a webbed feet. They have skin between the three front toes. There is one toe at the back. The front feet act as a oars and help to push back water while swimming. For example, duck and swan. Okay. These type of, uh, uh, sorry, these type of toes have only two type of birds. That is a duck and other one is a Man. The, there is a skin between in the in between the two toes okay and the back one which help to push the water for swimming very easily for the duck this is a special this is the specialty webbed feet of a duck and the next how do birds fly now, now we are discussing that how do birds fly birds fly with the help of their wings which are modified four limbs they have birds fly with the help of the wings which are modified four limbs they have flight muscles which help them to fly in the air they have see here they have flight muscles which help them to fly in the air next the flight muscles are strong muscles which move the wings up and down these flight muscles are very strong muscles which move which moves the uh, birds up and down through the wings up and down a bird flats its wing to push the air down and rises slowly into the air if you see if you see any bird flying to the air it will push the air down and rise slowly into the air when it reaches high it in the air it does not need to flap its wings anymore because warm currents of air push it and allow it to glide it changes its direction due during flight by tail okay next movement of a wings wing perform two types of st strokes or movements during flight wings these are called a wings wings perform two types of strokes or movements during flight that is upstroke downstroke wings move upward and backward and downstroke means wings move downward and forward okay upstroke means uh, 
for uh, upward and backward down stroke means downward downward and forward okay next flightless birds so here is the flightless birds another topic the bodies of some birds are very heavy to allow flying they just walk on the ground with the help of their legs for a, for example kiwi penguin and ostrich see ostrich is the best example for the flightless birds okay where they have very heavy body to allow flying they just walk on the ground with the help of their legs for example kiwi penguin and ostrich the egg of an ostrich is the largest of all birds eggs see it is a very important important point the egg of an ostrich is the largest of all birds eggs okay next topic next topic is last topic in this uh, chapter home of birds nest is very important for the bird to, bird to lay eggs to protect them from enemies and to take care of their young ones till they are able to fly see birds keep the eggs on the nest it is a very rare thing we will see we will observe on the nature on the branch of the trees nest is very important for the as a home for us the nest is the home for the birds for the bird to lay eggs to protect them from enemies to take care to take care of their young ones till they are able to fly birds uses dry glass feathers twigs cotton wool leaves etc to build their nest see here birds use what 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 the bird used to build their nest means dry grass feathers twigs cotton wool leaves they collect these materials with their beaks they make the nest warm and comfortable for their young ones okay this is the topic home of birds next type of nests different birds have make different types of nests according to their needs cup shaped nest one is cup shaped nest okay the nest of the nests of birds such as pigeon and crows are made of grass soft cotton twigs cloth and feathers they made the nests on high places above the ground such as branches of trees and open ceiling of houses these are open and cup like structures if you see the nest of a birds like pigeons and the crows they are made up of grass soft cotton twigs cloth and feathers it will be the high places above the ground such as branches of trees or open ceiling of a houses they are open these are open and cup shaped structures this cup like structure is suitable for keeping the eggs and chicks safe next is stitched nests stitched nests the tailor bird uses large shaped leaves to make its nest the tailor bird okay tailor bird uses large shaped leaves to make its it uses a large shaped leaves to make its nest it has a sharp needle like beak which help it to sew the leaves using cotton wool or pieces of thread from spider's web oh it uses thread pieces of thread from spider's web wool cotton with the help of these and a, and a leaf it will build a nest for its younger one okay next and the woven nests the weaver bird's nest is found mainly on three branches three branches the bird is also called because it weaves its nest with the help of fine strips of palm leaves banana leaves grass etc it is a tunnel shaped nest with an opening at the bottom the weaver birds see here is the nest of a weaver bird is found mainly on the tree branches i think you almost you will saw this type of nests the bird is called so beautiful because it weaves its nest with the help of a fine strips of palm leaves banana leaves grass etc it is tunnel like shaped with the end at the bottom okay next next here hello nests a woodpecker makes a hole in the trunk of the tree using its sharp and strong beak see here this is the nest of the woodpecker it will uh, it will make a hole on the trunk of the tree with the help of its sharp and strong beak the hollow space is lined with the chips of a wooden to make it warm comfortable and cozy for the fledglings fledglings is nothing but the younger one of a woodpecker okay see here these type of nests will build a woodpecker 
Next, platform nests. Birds such as vulture makes its nest on the topmost branch of a tree or on rocks. It uses straw, twigs, etc. to build its nests, also called iray. Birds such as vulture makes its nest on the topmost branch of a tree or on rocks. It uses straw, twigs, etc. to build its nest and also called iray. Next, ground nests. Next topic is ground nests. Penguins live in big colonies. They collect stones, pebbles and bones to make their nests on the ground. See here, this is the nest of a penguin. This, this type of nest the penguin will build to build for their younger ones. The scientific study of birds is called ornithology. Okay. See here, nest of a penguin. This is called a nest of a building it will use what it will use means stones pebbles and bones to make their nest on the ground it will make the nest on the ground only next and here is one another important point a quail does not build its nests it lays its eggs in the crow's nest the crow cannot identify the quail's cheeks because they are quite alike to its own cheeks it also feeds the baby quail like its own cheeks Parental care of young birds. See here, when an ST study, a mother bird lay eggs, eggs in it. Both the mother and father bird takes turn in warming the eggs. One of the parents sit on the eggs to keep them warm while the other protects the nest from enemies. When the chicks are fully developed, the eggs shall break and chicks come out. This is called a hatching. The chicks are weak and do not have feathers. The parents' birds feed them, keep them warm and protect them from enemies. When the chicks growing up, the parent bird teach them to fly and gather food. This is the parental care of a younger birds. Okay. Next, small birds like, like house sparrow generally bring food to the nest from 4 to 12 times a hour. Oh, 4 to 12 times an hour. Next, here is the important points which are there. We will uh, dis already we discussed it in this chapter. See, I will tell you: down feathers, fluffy, soft feathers that keep the bird that keep the bird warm. Next, flight feathers, feathers on bird's tail and wing to help in flying. Beak, beak is nothing but a structure in birds that is used for eating, feeding young ones, and for many other purposes. Talons, sharp cow curved claws present in flesh eating animals webbed feet the feet of swimming birds with with a thin hold of skin between toes upstroke upward and backward movements of wings and downstroke down, down downward and forward moving of wings nest structure made by a bird for laying eggs and sheltering its younger ones Hatching, open of an egg to let the younger one come out. Next, another important point is that we will see now. Now I know. Special body feathers and structure of birds help them to fly. A bird's body is covered with feathers. Okay, different birds have different types and colors of feathers. Birds have different types of beaks and claws depending upon the place they live in and the type of food they eat. All birds have two feet with four toes on each. Claws of birds help walk in, help them in walking, swimming, climbing and perching. Most birds make nest to lay their eggs, take care of chicks and to protect them from enemies. Different birds make different types of nests according to their needs. I hope you understand the explanation of this chapter. Uh, part 2 is also completed if you have any doubt please mention in the comment box okay please support my channel subscribe do subscribe comment share like and thanks for watching